This is Helen McConnell, founder of PurposeProsperityHappiness.com and author of The Authentic Zone. So you just found out that your negative thoughts attract negative things and negative situations into your life. And these negative thoughts could be coming from your unconscious mind where you're not even aware that they're happening. Oh my God, so how are you going to change them? Well, the first thing we need to do is relieve the anxiety about those negative thoughts. And that's what this tapping script is all about. Begin by rating your anxiety or stress about your negative thoughts. Think about that anxiety and give it a rating on a 0 to 10 scale. 0 being non-existent and 10 being like, ah! Write the number down. And then repeat after me as we tap along, starting on the karate chop point. Even though I have all these negative thoughts, and I don't know what to do about them, I deeply and completely accept myself. Still on the karate chop point, even though I just found out that my unconscious mind is running the show most of the time, and that really bothers me, I choose now to begin to learn to harness the power of my mind. And one more time on the karate chop point, even though I want to have positive thoughts more often. And I don't know how to do that. I choose to accept myself. Now we'll tap through the points, starting on the top of the head. These negative thoughts on the eyebrow, all these negative thoughts, side of the eye. I'm not even aware of what I'm thinking under the eye. And I now know that my thoughts create my emotions under the nose. And my emotions create my personal frequency on the chin. And now I know that law of attraction is an action in my life on the collarbone. Ah! Under the arm. I feel as though my life is out of my control. top of the head. And now that I'm aware of the power of my negative thoughts, eyebrow, I really want them to stop. Side of the eye. But I don't know how to stop them. Under the eye. I wonder if I can relax. Under the nose. I wonder if I can just breathe on the chin. I wonder if I can pay attention to my feelings to get an idea of what I'm thinking. On the collarbone, I wonder if I can just move forward from here. Under the arm, no need to be perfect. Top of the head, simply clearing negative thoughts and feelings on the eyebrow, a little bit at a time. Side of the eye. I wonder if even a little bit of progress could have an effect. Under the eye, like a drop of water in a bucket. Eventually enough drops will fill the bucket. Under the nose, maybe I can replace negative thought habits with positive ones. on the chin, one thought at a time, one drop at a time. On the collarbone, I wonder if I can just start right where I am now. Under the arm, I have this tapping tool on the top of the head. It goes with me wherever I go. Eyebrow. I wonder if I can just go easy on myself. Side of the eye. And tap whenever I notice my negative feelings. Under the eye. If I can even raise them up a little. Under the nose. Maybe I'll raise my vibration a little. 
on the chin, and things might start to change on the collarbone, and that would be cool. Now take a gentle breath in and out, and check back in again with your anxiety or stress about having all these negative thoughts. Rate your intensity again on that zero to 10 scale and write the new number down. Is it higher, lower, the same? Replay this audio again, tapping along until your rating number is a three or lower. And from now on, use this audio as often as you like to reduce the anxiety of having negative thoughts. Know this, mastering our thoughts and emotions is a lifelong pursuit. Just as soon as you think you've got it, something new will come along to show you that there's more to work on. Think of it as perfecting your art or craft. It just keeps getting better. 